Hello, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So it's a late night stream as per usual, it seems. Ah, just went and got some water, so we're good to go. How you doing, man? Doom, good to have you. Hello there, Felix and G-Man and Cora. Good to see you guys. Okay. Now, it should be an interesting one today. Uh, let me double check. I've got the save downloaded properly. I uh, shall do that. No, it should be an interesting uh, turn today, really. We've set up a naval strike to about 15 hexes from Bangkok. We do have... A number of cruisers heading out at full speed, actually. Uh, towards where Dadman's ship seems to be heading, which seems to be Port Blair. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting one there, really. We decided it, well, decided it was worthwhile to actually have the um, transports that were in the area head back to Georgetown, the ones coming up from that end. The reason being there's a lot of equipment and men aboard those, it's not worth the risk. Uh, we do have other forces moving into port as well, just to make sure they are safe. No, no idea where the uh, British division is, actually. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Let's see if your guys into lagging. Gotta get some heavy rain on my heads again. I hope so. I mean, like, if you could do it like the first time where the F1Fs uh, came low and they got to shoot them up, that was great, actually. No, I don't know where the British Division is, but look at it this way. I mean, <laughs> I don't think he's got a chance in Burma. Don't think he's got a chance. I mean, we'll be attacking at Rangoon uh, probably when I get three divisions. I might go ahead and actually organize a bombardment just to try and get an AV estimation from him. But you don't get like a proper measure until you actually do attack. Uh, incidentally, we will be attacking in Java today, so hopefully we do have some good success there. We do force his forces to surrender. That would be ideal. But we'll see. Right, okay. Task Force. So that is the AK. That's a tanker. That's a tanker we missed. Fuck. Ah. <sighs> I like it's called Ha Good. Oh, it's leaving. Okay. That's very peculiar. So we were expected some sort of battle here today. It seems like we're not going to get one, which is intriguing. Um, hmm. Unless he sent them out... No, I, ca I can't think why they would be retreating. That's very odd there. Unless maybe it's an amphibious force on low threat threshold, perhaps. But technically, there were enemy ships in the area. But even then, I think they'd be, like, stretching it there, really. Yeah, likely so. Likely so. Which makes sense. How very odd. How very odd. We are running cap at Port Blair. But how very odd. Had we known he would have turned back, we would have kept on uh, moving our assets as normal, actually. So that's rather interesting, actually. Hmm. I do need to go ahead and clear Batavia Mines, but I'm not going to do it until um, the ships have been removed from port there. I don't want to have the DMSs actually put at risk. And I don't need to clear that badly in Mines. Hey, Dunder Honoris. Good to have you, my man. Yeah, I'm really confused. <laughs> oh well. That's really odd, considering that we have the uh, key for the breeze over here. Oh well. They probably don't have the range there. Now, I did expect a battle port player. We have moved assets at high speed to make it there, to be there. Uh, we might go ahead and just keep a heavy cruiser there, potentially. Hmm. Quite a turn then so far. I mean, that was PM. So we do see them out there beyond, uh, beyond Little Landerman, which is interesting. I don't know, it's a very interesting move, isn't it? Like, why would you move in there? I ain't there, Boken. Uh, he moved his ships in to then move them out, which I find really intriguing. Hmm. Well, the thing is there, Mark, uh, he posted on the beach and we did manage to destroy about 300 plus squads, which was really quite nice. So, it's probably going to still likely be tough in the Mountain Hex, but I can't, I can't imagine it being that tough. 
I mean, we'll see this turn, but if it doesn't happen today, that's fine. We'll grind him down. We have the divisions. Sorry, we have the regiments. Maybe, I don't know. It's a very interesting move because it was very ballsy to come in and it's... I don't know. Uh, we also can hear Rangoon here today. So, 37 zeros. I'm resting the other squadron, so I'll rest this squadron this day. So find behind at the buffalo. There we go, see more HH1s here. Yeah, they're starting to suffer more from the fatigue. But they're going to be resting today. So speed things up. See a couple shot down there. Thunderstorms on the target. So, one to one then. So we seem to have like a trade. But not too bad then, really. And that'll do it for PM. Wow. Pretty quiet turn so far. <laughs> I mean, that benefits us as far as it goes. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. It's like, I thought it would, uh, I thought it would be best to have forces return uh, to Georgetown. I haven't told them to unload. I mean, it's good. I, I suppose this is it. I suppose we don't have to um, deal with anything as such, but I guess we'll see. Oh, so we see 36 Chinese called there. Uh, that core has been a bit of a bloody problem, hasn't it? It's definitely been a roadblock. We're attacking it once again. Should be able to force it back to... Yes, it forces... It is forced back to Sian. Uh, so we had 45 casualties. Notice no lack of supply. Few vehicles there disabled. We inflict uh, 2,739 casualties. 113.35 there. So that's good. So they lose a good chunk of that core there. They don't have that many guns, but they lost quite a bit of their AV there. Uh, we are shock, uh, shock attacking the elusive war area once again. No, it doesn't surrender. These are such annoying units to take care of, but we are destroying here. Seven destroyed there. Uh, there's not that many, 125, so we should be able to deal with that soon enough. We are attacking this unit once again, so 7th New Chinese Corps and the 2nd Group Army. They're either going to retreat or be destroyed. 314 retreat and retreat yep so they're kicked out once again 384 casualties over here quite a few oh no so that's allied i was gonna say that's weird for us to have that uh we are deliberately attacking over here against the seventh group army in the 33rd chinese core i wonder where the uh seventh group army came from hey didn't they captain flatburn good to have you my man and they are forced to retreat towards yunnan uh where do they go so they go over there then okay that's that's not too bad. We had a unit here to make sure we had control of that road, which was worthwhile. Uh, 1,233 casualties inflicted there, so I can deal with them in the end. So we have that, and we do have an attack over here then. So we do see that there's a 4th KNIL regiment over here, so that must have been another unit. Uh, his Landstorm battalions are short. He still has a decent amount of force. I love the fabric brother Batavi gun, <laughs> Council gun Batavi. So he has a, a decent amount of AV, but he doesn't have as much as he would have had. You can see the Landstorm have been reduced. Um, can't remember all the units of here, actually. We do have in here, yes, the additional tank units have arrived. So, not as little as I was hoping for, but this is it. We have to attack. We'll probably take some casualties here due to the mountain, but we do have the regiments to replace them. Um... The good news is, he's in a base, sure, but he's going to run out of supplies soon enough, because we do have all the hexes surrounded here. Okay, we do have the engineers to reduce any fortifications, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, we do have the, we have the forces on Java to take it. It's always a pain to have to deal with the times free, but what can you do? Hmm, I had hoped he'd been weaker, but then again, we did, we did take down the Landstorm. I'm just surprised that he's actually still got so much strength there, really. It must have been a lot of disabled that we had destroyed there. Yeah, Java's essentially doomed. I mean, it was doomed when we had that picture on the beaches there, really. Uh, it's just a case of moving down. They do suck, but anything on the... Uh, well, defensive is good. So yeah, hell of a defense there. So this is going to take longer than I had anticipated. Uh, 12 destroyed, 125 disabled, so 2,000. Yeah, mountain's going to take some time. So we're dealing with... So we had level two, uh, sorry, level three fortification. So that's going to take a while. But what I could potentially do there is bombard him until he runs out of supply. 
Um, the roll we had there. So he had a really good roll, it seems, though, which is not too surprising. It's a pain, but okay. This could take longer than I had thought, but that's fine. We do have the equivalent of the division to deal with that, plus. So we'll deal with it. Attacking Medan, 83 to 16. Yeah, we already have it surrounded, so we do take Medan. And uh, they go into the interior, it seems. Yeah, they go here, which is on the road, actually, so I can work with that. 442 casualties. I do need to get a aviation unit moved in there ASAP. Uh, 20 destroyed there. Okay. We have another double bit attack over here at Kuchi. Yeah, I'd hope that we would have been able to destroy him there in the Mountain Hex, but then again, he's cut off. He has a decent chunk of force there, but that means he's also going to use a decent chunk of supply. So down to once, we don't yet beat him, but we're getting closer there. 215 casualties, 139 there, so we're grinding through. That's the problems with fortifications and that sort of terrain, it's just nasty. Oh, he actually did launch a bombardment attack today. Interesting. That's okay. We are attacking here again. Looks a little bit bloodier here today. Yeah, so plus and minus is interesting. Plus and a minus two there, but minus for experience. Okay. Move into cut that unit off and surround it. Yeah, and as you say, they're evoking. But I mean, that's the thing here. You've got to attack sometimes just to get a measure of how strong the enemy is. Okay, so. Interesting turn then. We're building fortifications up there at Chiang Mai as well, by the way. Interesting turn. I definitely didn't go as I thought it would, but not bad. I was hoping for more of Java, but then again, I suppose this is it. We did inflict a lot of casualties on him on the beaches. He's in, uh, well, he's in a times three hex where, well, he had level three fortifications. So it's going to take a while. <clears throat> but we do have another, well, we have plenty of forces to deal with it. What I don't like is not having divisions. <laughs> Yeah, the issue with bombardment is it doesn't quite give you the full picture. Uh, when are you going to organise a push for Wake? We did, but uh, we've spoken about Wake a few times. The reason why we've actually halted on Wake for the time being is because we are preparing ASW squadrons with sufficient amount of ASW skill. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we laid, well, pushed supply out here to Tuangi. The idea is going to be to actually have like an aviation coy or an AV here, likely an aviation coy flown in. So then we can actually go ahead and establish the Jakes out here to run ASW. Uh, what we'll do then is have an AKE here, then also for that nature. We'll have bombardments on Wake. And then I'll have a regiment brought in to secure Wake. It's definitely... Um, it's on the back burner to a degree. But that's because as far as it goes with Wake, it's not worth all the extra blood. We just need to take it properly. Take it in such a way as he can't resist. Right, so I move them in. So we move them out to move them back in. Yeah, definitely a quieter turn than I imagined, actually. We're at 45% here at Rabal, nearly halfway there now. That's good. Ideally, we do get that time to build it up. So let's see then, how are the men over here? I don't imagine they're great. They did attack into the um, times free and free. So their AV has been reduced here, so they're going to need to be rested. That's a problem with single regiments, they can be shot up pretty damn quickly. So they're going to have to uh, be stood down to rest. But in theory, I could potentially just go ahead and bombard, uh, reduce his supply. But in fairness, we'll just leave it as is and allow his supply to reduce automatically. I could go ahead and bomb. Yeah, we're going to have to bomb that air fuel then. Okay. It does have resources and light industry, which makes things harder. Uh, so we might have to strategic bomb that one. It's a pain there, actually. It's a nasty F in Hex. Yeah, it's nasty, nasty. But he's only going to produce about 20 supply a turn. Considering he has quite a decent force there, I don't imagine 20 supply a turn is going to make that much of a difference. Right, so he's moving these assets over here. So we've just seen PT boats over here for Darby now. Okay. Yeah, you can see that we have these forces here. Uh, 124th, that's part of the 31st. Okay, so they're marching down to Samurai. I'm going to have this division, sort of this regiment, moved out. 
Right, okay. They're gonna head south as well. Uh, this will form the garrison here, the Yokosuka. Four first and left. I still don't have energy, man. Have a good one. Right, I don't need to move them in there, actually. Okay. Not the result I wanted. I think we had a pretty bold roll there. But they have a support in the actual Hex, they'll be able to recover. And just as it's a times three for him, it's a times three for us as well. So we'll have to starve him out. It's a pain in the arse. I was hoping that we could have actually destroyed him here on the beaches, but it seems... Yeah, he had some stronger units, I anticipated. But it seems he had that plan in motion already. But that's fine. I mean, it netted us Batavia. We'll take the entirety of Java. He might have these mountains. But in fairness, uh, any delays that come from that aren't too bad, really. We do have the head of schedule uh, developments over here in the Philippines, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, this is it. There's not much you can do to stop the Allies getting there, unless you actually do take it via paratroopers, but I don't know if you could ever do that. So, I suppose it's bound to happen. Ah, oh, well. We've weakened him quite <laughs> dramatically here on the beaches, so he's not going to be his full strength. So that's fine. We'll carry on moving. He can't kick us out. We can't destroy him quite yet, but eventually we'll get there. Right, 15th Naval Guard. By the way, if I'm a little bit quiet, it's because obviously it's quite late here in the moment. So try not to uh, be too loud. I should give him another day to rest. But I'm fair enough saying that the enemy doesn't have any supplies, so it should be fine. They're moving there. Okay. Are they still unloading? Apparently I don't have any squads anymore. Which is kind of awkward. As you do. Uh, they're going to have to return then. So I'll have them move back to Loblin. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we don't have any. Well actually what I can do then is I can possibly move them. Yeah, move them back to Loblin. At least there's an airfield there. And support. Actually saying that there probably won't be. Oh no, they do have some motorized support, which is nice. So they can actually help support the forces there. That's good. Okay. So we'll have level 2 airfield there tomorrow. Unloading the aviation battalion here. Right, so 28 AV right now. 6 aviation there. 24 here. So what I can do then, because I'm unloading supply right now. Is I'm going to go ahead and actually pick up that koi. Does that not have any assault value, eh? For real. I thought it would have actually had some... Yeah, it's meant to have some. That's strange. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have to tell them to get those replacements there. Uh, I mean, this is it. I just worry about that. And in fairness, I'd like to have a little bit more force moved in there. I could do with something there to actually fill that garrison requirement. I'm moving that unit over here to go, uh, go ahead and pick these guys up. So I guess we'll have to take it from there. Nice amount of resources there, actually. Right, okay. Order them to take that base. They are moving to Zambawanga to move the naval guard unit in there. I still find that a real pain. It's not like I anticipated that fall to my control. I shouldn't be punished for, like, not garrisoning it immediately. Okay, how are our forces doing here, then? 22, 28, 22. Um, they should be good tomorrow for an attack. But at level... Yeah, he's got no fortifications. He's at 31 airfield damage now, so that's good. We can keep that up. Still seeing plenty of ships in the port there. Don't see ships in the port over here, but Tan anymore, which is interesting. So he must have moved their subs out of there. But we'll have that soon enough. I was hoping for like some sort of dramatic victory over here at uh, Batavia. <laughs> Sorry, no, at uh, Java. But I suppose it makes sense. He moved them all out there. I mean, that's a problem. Batavia would have been a pain, but Batavia's times two rather than times three. So we'll have to treat this like a new Clark field. So it's going to require bombers, which is not so bad actually considering. He does have resistance over here, but that's not too bad. 15. 15? Oh, 
I wonder if he's moved additional AV in there. I can't remember seeing 15 units there before. Hmm. I might have been misremembering it. 12,000 men bears what we're getting there. So that's going to be an intriguing one. It might be that we have to actually... Hard to say, really. He's a wily bastard. But then again, there's only so much AV on Java. So what we'll do then, if we find resistance, that is... Yeah, no, I agree. I don't know if I'm... I might be misremembering it, really. What we'll do then is we'll figure out where the resistance is. And what we'll do then is just set up shop. Have units move out then to take the other bases and then come back. Yeah, we do have armor. We do have another regiment moving south, so that's good. In fairness, if needs be, I could have the 4th Division sent into Java just to help clear it up sooner rather than later. Uh, they are being reorganized. Obviously, 4th Division is... Well, an actual division combined is more powerful. So that might be a consideration, potentially to speed things up. Yeah, so... That's very interesting, Ben. Maybe they were on some sort of invasion. You can see that we moved in a number of forces here. They're also complaining about fuel on some of them because they did move in at full speed. But it's not too bad. We'll leave a number of... Uh, I think I might leave a heavy cruiser or, or some... Maybe two heavy cruisers here, perhaps. It's not, not too certain there. I don't want to leave too much just in case, but we could probably leave a, leave a decent amount. So he's 20 hexes out from Bangkok. Yeah, we need to get that um, flotilla in there. Yeah, I know, that. that's why we have fighters there evoking. Like, we don't have as many now, but obviously we'll increase that shortly. Like, Hermes is dangerous, which is not the all end all, but we also do need to have surface assets at Port Blair to protect it. And obviously what I'll do is move more key fort freeze. I can move more aircraft in there today. Because obviously, uh, well, we haven't been hit. So I'll probably have a key fort freeze squadron stationed at Blair to keep it safe. So that'd be quite good. Right then. So I decided to actually take a unit over here. One of the detachments of the uh, 7th RTA. I decided to march them over this way to make sure we can actually cap that road. I've taken a unit over here and have it march out that way too. Now, they'll move major halfway there, and then there's no road. But it'll still be quicker than anything else. And it's worthwhile doing, because then at least we do take control of this hex as well. It means I can actually stop him from trying to escape, or at least make it harder for him to escape. Okay, so we see that unit over here? Well, those units. Right. Yep, they get that time to recover, which is excellent. Do I have any engineers in here? There's no engineers in here. Okay. I will have a second RTA then. At 24 miles now. Uh, they might make it tomorrow. They should make it tomorrow. I'd be surprised if they didn't make it tomorrow, to be honest. And then we have here. Fourth RTA is moving north as well. So that gives three divisions there. We do have 14th Tank Regiment, which will make it onto the major roads over here at Blumian tomorrow, I would imagine. Okay, they shouldn't be on retirement so loud, but they have refueled, which is fine. So what I'm going to do here is patrol in this area. Yeah, it's kind of a shame, because if that was just DDs and light cruisers, it would have kicked the shit out of it. But hey-ho. I mean, that's a lot of assets that have been moved into that base there. Okay, if I take a look over here at Bigu. Yeah, it's a shame, I wanted to give you guys like a little, <laughs> little battle, let's see. I don't know why he did that. It's interesting. Maybe... Maybe it was a landing. And maybe it was spooked by the AKs. It might have retreated due to the actual presence of the CAs. It's hard to say there. Right, so we do have them moving. I may potentially just march them in combat mode to make sure that we have them all unloaded. You can see that we do have a supply being unloaded here too. How many men are aboard then still? Um, so, still 4,000 troops in total, it says there. Uh, we did unload a good deal of them today. I might march them in combat mode. 
they'll still make good progress in combat mode. I think in combat mode they'd move 15 on the major road. So they'd go to 45. I might go ahead and do that then. The reason being, well, it allows us to get them moved in all into the same hex rather than having to wait another two days or so for them to move back in. Well, to move back in uh, join the rest of their unit. Uh, we have our unit here, our division, which is continuing to plan for Rangoon, which is good. Right, I do have first RTA here to the south. What I'm going to do then is have them march into Rangoon from the south. And then what I can do is have them march out. Or even I could, no, I can't march north, sadly. It doesn't look like he's actually marched on that base anymore, which is interesting. But he probably is, we might have just lost it. There were two heavy cruisers over here, which is something we saw previously. Well, apparently two heavy cruisers, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but what we'll do then is we'll keep up the naval attack set up now. So I'll probably have it set for 12 hexes, um, likely. I'll probably move another key 43 detachment or another key, I don't know. Yeah, 43 of some type to the north there, uh, to Bangkok, to make sure that we can actually launch torpedoes. I would like to increase the amount of cap over here to Port Blair. And as the Vulcan says, there we can't forget about the uh, British carriers. But um, the Royal Navy certainly isn't as large of a threat as the US Navy. Still a threat, but out here we are more or less operating in our own waters now, which is good. But it's very close to Ceylon, so obviously he has his centre of British naval power there, essentially. But once we bring up our um, air flotilla port there, we'll be able to deal quite handily with that. Okay. No, so things are looking good, really. I was hoping for a little bit more assignment, but no, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. And at long last, the gates to Sian are now finally open. Now, it's showing me 14 units, but that's obviously because those units retreated in there. The good news is, when we do take Sian, we're going to actually enjoy the benefits of having Sian. Should be very nice. How you doing there, Gary? Good to have you, my man. A little bit late, aren't you? You moan at me to do the turns, and then you show up late. <laughs> right, so we have these units here. The interesting thing is that is a river hex, and I think it does have a decent bit of AB there. So, what I might go ahead and do then is possibly... It's an awkward one, really. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to bet. Oh, dear. Right, push them back there. It didn't go as you would imagine it would. We didn't see any conflicts over here at Port Blair because he pulled back for some reason. I think it might have been because he might have been spooked by heavy cruisers or potentially by the AK and BBs. But that'd be kind of interesting. Ah oh, well. Oh, I forgot about those guys. <laughs> the irony in that they could actually arrive first. Okay. Right, we'll have them continue on here then towards Bagu. Fuel should collect out that way, but I'll probably have to refuel the Brumian. Okay. Have that begin to move back out there. Alright, they're empty right now. They're carrying the 5th Division. So that's going to head out that way. Towards Pagoon. There's going to be a lot of traffic, uh, a lot of forces unloaded at Pagoon. Which is very nice. Okay. So we took my down today. We'll take a look how it turned out. Hole. Oh. Wow. <laughs> is that look that good? That is all ours, isn't it? Yes, that's all ours. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. I think we had a, a good bit of luck there so far. Wow. Right, we just need to get the aviation support in there now. 
Oh. Replay file? Yeah, I, I haven't sent a replay file yet. That was just a turn file. Oh, did I send the replay file? Oh, my bad. God, you're so picky. So picky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. But I will have her moved in. I want you to use that previous replay file. I want you to try and construct the uh, the turn of events that have resulted in this game. Yeah, no, surprising. Surprising we didn't have anything big today. I mean, I'm not complaining. I don't think anybody is. But, I mean, in fairness, we did want to actually hammer some uh, Royal Navy ships for a little bit of revenge, really. Right, so I do have the key for trees that can be shifted over either this turn or shortly. Um, let's see. The key for the A's. Key for the three A's then. Yep, they have a 12 range. So what we'll be looking towards doing then is I'll shift additional cap um, over there to Port Blair. As long as we have the ability to actually protect our, our ships here at Port Blair, we're good. We'll have additional construction units moved in. We'll have the aviation moved in. Yeah, they're moving on the 14 knotters. So they're not moving out particularly quickly. Yeah, they're only moving 11 knots there. Uh, which is a bit of a sh I don't know. It might be potentially worthwhile to unload them at Georgetown and then have them loaded up on APs, but it's probably worthwhile just keeping them moving. Excuse me, got hiccups there apparently. Right, okay. Is that near the garrison? It doesn't actually, which is nice. What I'm going to do then is have that unit unloaded at Langsar, which would be the other regiment there. Right. We'll have a march into the interior. What are the roads like? Oh, that's major road to that point there, which is nice. Yeah, if we could get another attack in there, would be nice. Jesus Christ, such a jungle ref. That's a massive pain in the ass. Hmm. I'd have to take a look and see what their strength is like. I can't imagine being huge. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. So that was what originally took elements of the Imperial Guard, so they're going to be actually carrying the 5th Division there. Okay. Need to clear these ships out here, but I don't want to move out away, uh, move into there with the mines there at this moment in time. He's moving to Semarang. That's okay. No, but that's excellent. I mean, that is a real big boost. That's a real shot in the arm there to take Medan intact. Very nice. I mean, you take a look at that. So our all uh, the oil production now is at 23,940. Uh, we have 26,505 refinery capacity, obviously because we have captured more. But the oil capacity there is really nice. Pretty good. I mean, we captured Batavia almost intact, which is excellent. We've got a heavy industry and uh, light industry there. Uh, but Dan, we've gained another 210 oil. And the beauty is, it's like, we that supply is saved. That supply that we just gained now. Because we're not having to spend it there in Medan. We've actually quite... We've been very fortunate. We've captured Medan intact. We've captured Bela Papan intact. we captured Sambrodinda intact. Uh, we captured Tarakan not intact, but with not that much of the way damage. The restart's out damaged anyway. So we've repaired quite a good chunk of Marie so far. Palambang would have been the best one in <laughs> the world to have captured intact, but hey, not too bad. I repaired a decent amount, so it's still 145 days until it's fully repaired, assuming it has supply every single day. And again, 108 days before the is completely repaired. Uh, 19 until Tanakhan. But that's a game more oil sources now, which is good. We just have to get the convoy set up in the near future. I think as far as it goes with Medan and that oil... Um, I do have a secondary roads down that way, so in fairness, I could probably leave it just to pull up down at Palambang, really. But it's quite good. I mean, we do have the refineries here, which is excellent. That certainly helps out. 
yeah, I mean, that fuel can go a long way into actually keeping the uh, forces in this area moving. Right, okay. Yeah, so they're going to be in combat mode. That's good. So if I take a look here, once I can get a unit in here, then we should be fairly safe for Pagoon. But there's going to be a lot of forces moving through here. Let's see, imagine there's quite a bit of AV here. Uh, but this is how I envision the invasion of Burma to go. So I'm quite happy it's working out. We do have the tank regiment here. We do have the other tank regiments here. Uh, so they'll be here tomorrow. And then they should be in Mulmian tomorrow. And then they should really pick up the pace. That's very good. So they're currently marching to Pigou. Sorry, driving to Pigou. Get them to move out then. In theory I could have them put onto the rail lines. And actually just railed up over here to Tongo. But I don't think it's necessary. Um, it's secondary rail from Mulmian to Pigou, but it's major rail from Rangoon to Pigou, almost to the north there. Which is very useful. Still comes in handy. Ah, so we see a unit here to the north, which is interesting. I wonder if that's his move. I wonder if his move is against Swal Tau and the South there. That makes sense. He might be looking to take these uh, bases from us. Hmm. I mean, it would be a pain in the arse, but it wouldn't be too bad. I mean, one of those bases there, clear terrain, yeah. So it's all clear on the coast there, so that's not too bad. I could probably do with bringing some uh, bombardment capability up this way. <laughs> okay. How are these fellows looking? Right. Their progress. 28. They're not far away. Yeah, you can see their fatigue is absolutely golden. Allow for replacements to arrive here if necessary. Right, okay. The thing is, each day we delay gives him more time to build up fortifications, but it's clear terrain, so he's never going to be able to do that much. Um, I could do with bombers, but I don't really have particularly many bombers in China. Uh, I think what we're going to do here, then... I could march into the Hex. I mean, let's see. Disruption's not too bad. Fatigue's not too bad. I don't think we're in a malaria zone, are we here? I don't think it counts as a malaria zone. No, it doesn't. So we're actually pretty fine. So we can march. Get them in there. There we go. Move in here. I did accidentally reset the progress last turn. Otherwise it would have been at 30 today. But that's not too bad. Um, just waits on the rest of the division here to show up. The rest of the 27th. Which needs to move on that way. I'm glad that we have this rail line open once again. That's very useful for me. Okay, fifth knife moving back there. No, it's worked out well enough. We finally got rid of that. I could just do with some RGC units over here to hold this rail line, which we'll have to sort out. Uh, the armored car company here was worthwhile. So, we do see two units over here. One unit there. He's moving units here, he's moving units here. I mean, that could have been China from the start. It's only because we've become somewhat acc accustomed to him not moving out. But I can't complain about that. Uh, so we'll launch it deliberate there. Okay. I'll launch another attack with these fellows. I'm going to sneeze in a second. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> I don't know what it is lately. I think it's just... I don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much, Henry. 
<laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what is setting off my allergies or whether it's a cold. I do not know. I think I'm just allergic to uh, Dadman's bullshit. <laughs> I really wanted those cruises, man. I really did. Oh, well. 30 to, uh, 35th could do with some time recovering those disabled, but I do need to go ahead and take care of them. And that's clear terrain there, so it should be easy. Whoops, nope. I should go ahead and save it actually in a sec. Right. Uh, excuse me. It was called the uh yeah, nobody expects the nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. I'm like, what? <laughs> what does that mean? I'm just gonna save it here. Okay. Yeah, they're in a bit of a no man's land there. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that is in fact hard side free music. I do have hard side uh, to dark style music in there too. Right, in fact, I'm going to have the 35th moved on towards Xinjiang. I'd like to have it recovered in Wuchang and then march north. I do want to try and maintain as much fighting capacity as I can. Uh, that's something of a disturbing development. Um, he might be looking towards actually pushing on Canton and Hong Kong. Possibly. I don't know. I think it's doubtful, but it's something he could potentially do there. And that would be quite a problem. I mean, that, I think, is clear terrain. Well, they've got good morale. Um, it's an IGA, uh, IGA unit. I'm going to have it launch a deliberate attack there to try and dislodge the enemy. I could very much do with them being moved backwards. Right. And I'd like to have them moved into that position there, just to further insulate Canton. Have them move in combat mode for the time being, until that unit moves out. But in fairness... Yeah, that's going to take them a while. So yeah, combat mode's fine. I keep setting that to there. What? Why is it? That's twice I've told them to head there now. I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> Apologies about the sniffles. Right, have them. Um, oh no, they need to be moving mostly. Okay. So once they get onto the rail lines, they'll probably be here um, two days, maybe? One to two days. Well, they have 38 now. Yeah. About one to two days of min. And then we'll have two days march north to Xi'an. Uh, what I'll do then is actually attack at that point. We'll have... So this 1,500 just shy... Well, nearly 1,600 AV there. Importantly, it's made up of a lot of tanks. It will take us to about 1,600 to have the tanks move back in there. So that's another 54. So we'll have a few hundred AV of tanks. We'll have plenty of divisions, plenty of artillery, plenty of engineers. So I don't think it's going to take long before Sian falls. The beautiful thing is we do get to beat upon his forces once again. He only has a one unit here. Hmm... Let's see. Secondary road. And the difficulty is Yunnan. It might be that I just 
march upon Yunnan itself, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that, Dutchman. I like that. <laughs> I've got to commentate everything, haven't I? It, it becomes part of you. Right, we do have another battalion that has arrived here. Good. It's another 20 odd AV. Aviation support, sorry, AS. I've got to get you saying that AS. Uh, additional engineers. You can see that we have 441 engineers here in total. 21 vehicles. That's a lot of engineer power. It, it still takes a while to build it to a size 4 fortification. It does take time. We do have additional engineers moving in. So, we are up to 220 aviation supports. I could go ahead and probably move in these Sallies and the Marys. And that would be all the bombers in this area. And we do have them arriving there shortly. Uh, what I can do then is have... I could probably move this base force back to Takao. I mean, it's not the one from Takao, but I could potentially move it to Takao. It might have actually been from Takao. Not too sure there. I'll have them moved in. We'll have the additional aviation support in there shortly at Clark. <laughs> Looks like the other one's going to transfer via the rail. So it was damaged. There we go. Yep, such a very large base. But we'll have some really awesome uh, coordination now. Yep. I mean, I could potentially reduce the altitude in which we bomb, but you can see that we don't have any units that aren't ready because we haven't really had much in the way of damage. Like, take note of damage here. That makes a big difference. I think the ones that were damaged are probably damaged from when we were attacking Clark. But that's really entertaining. Because it's nice to see that we are above his flak now. I could go lower and potentially increase the effectiveness of the attacks in the airfield, but I don't think it particularly matters at this point. We've got the damage on the airfield. I mean, 31 damage is pretty good. That definitely works for us. So, in fairness, I could just keep it as is, keep up the uh, pounding of the airfield, and we'll be fine. It might even be worthwhile to begin uh, targeting, uh, yeah, begin targeting Batan instead, really. Hmm. Oh, is the base force Akagi? Uh, just back fill the base force from the home islands. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, I see you have it moving there. Ah, uh, right, okay. And that'll be there tomorrow. That's fine. Okay. I'm trying to think now. Um, we saw a tanker off over here to the north. It's a shame we don't have a bloody float plane there. But we know he's moving fuel. The interesting thing is, though, it looks like it might have come from Anchorage. That sort of direction there, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I feel so bad now. I don't know where the hell I've got a sudden cold from. Right, I'll go with that. Yeah, apparently York has infected me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, loading completed is bizarre. So they've arrived here, but they've not yet. Ah, oh, right, okay, so they're moving to the lake, that's why. Uh, so the good news is we are going to have here now uh, two battalions of JNAF. So these are airfield engineers. Now they're moving into the lake. I might want to have one actually left here at Finschaffen. I could even potentially have one move to Salamua. Uh, but in fairness, I would like to have them moved in here to Nadzab and Wa'u first. I think um, they probably do have some equipment that can't be flown. So Nadzab is going to be the easiest. The problem with Wa'u is it's awesome to have, but it's difficult to get to, which is the reason why it's awesome. But it's also a problem. 
No. I-19. I could do a repair in that mage damage. I might as well have it repaired while we are here. Yeah. So we'll have them unloaded there. Can they actually go up river? I don't think they can, but I'm going to... No, they can't. It's a shame. Right, so we're going to lay. No real choice on it, but... There you go. Okay. So what do we see here then on signal intelligence? Bell. Hmm. Is the bang's interesting? But I mean, we have been aware of things here. Um... That's something to check out regarding barges, because barges would be really quite handy, wouldn't they? I can't create a barge here. Where could we check that? I think that's possibly navigable. You know, I've never actually tried. I'm going to go ahead and create a barge here. I mean, it uses a little bit of supply, but it's fine. No port. So I need one with a port, really. Poor choice to try. Oh well, they can go back into the pool. There we go. Yeah, so they've gone into the pool there. I don't know, I suppose it's quite handy as it allows the transfer of supply, but apparently. I bet you could probably get a barge of that, perhaps, or maybe like very small ships, but that's strange. Right. Yeah, we definitely see quite a lack of anything today. We swept over here, so let's go ahead and check. So, two to one there. Not great, but not bad. N24, Banshee, Buffalo. Oscar Topsy. Hmm. Yeah, not a whole lot to report on them, really. Which is not bad. It does consume it down the south. Hmm. I do have two naval guard units that could be potentially used here for the time being, if necessary. I don't think it would be necessary, but it's certainly something to take into consideration, really. I mean, what worries me is the fact that he's definitely up to something in that area. He's very deliberate in how he's doing things here. Very deliberate. But in fairness, if we have to deal with that, we'll deal with that. I don't think he has that much force as such, but it probably would be worthwhile putting pressure here on a Changsha. Right, they'll be arriving, I'd say two days until they arrive. Actually, no, they should arrive tomorrow. Never mind.
Apparently we do have reports of submarines near truck now. Guam's expanded, which is nice. A very, very quiet turn. A very quiet turn. I mean, that works well for us. It just feels weird, really. Because you're just like, something should have happened. <laughs> Right, alert and supply here at a long last. They took far too long to arrive there, but they're finally doing it. The good news is that has supply in the area, so obviously it'll move through the actual system. Right, they'll be arriving back at Singapore then uh, tomorrow. I'll go ahead and then have them repaired by shipyard. They shouldn't take too long, really. I'll start building fortifications here at Singapore. There's only a few engineers there, but it'll give them something to do. Yeah. Need to get that to Paul Blair. Shouldn't take that long. I mean, we're making three per phase, so six per turn. So take a few turns, but it will get there. In some ways, maybe a slower approach might be worthwhile. Each day, the airbase does increase in size. I do have a pretty strong presence here, really. Not AV-wise as such, but I mean, that's a decent amount of aviation support, but at 46. That's pretty good. Enough supply here to work with. I think they're due to... I think they should have some squads. Yeah, they should have some squads. So they'll have them set to re gain of replacements. Having a couple squads, that'd be nice. 18. Oh, so still... Oh, hello. So it's part of our unit over here at Palabang, so I need to shift that up there. Okay. Ah, it's the actual part that matters. How did I get up there? That's interesting. Yeah, we'll have to bring something in to pick that up. That's a little bit of a problem I've never actually anticipated, but okay. It looks like there are problems here loading Motri support, so we'll have them actually move out to Singapore, move those assets there. First thing then, I might have them move to Palembang instead. I don't really need the AV there at Singapore, but it would be worthwhile. But I can have them moved on the rail lines then. Right, Virgo. Have these units then move south. Right, there we go. That's not too bad. I'll give it another day. Oh, well, I'll give it a day's rest. Let them recover and then we can go ahead and go for it. So I do have the AK and the AKL here. So they carry 250, but there's only one unit here, so I need to get that back. I've moved over there to Palembang. Having a couple AKLs is actually pretty useful.
Right, so we have 15 C and B. I might go ahead and actually position Quantung. Well, then again, no, they can stay as they are in that position there, but I'd be in. the heck is 15th? Oh. Oh, there they are. I didn't notice them. Okay. That's fine. That makes sense now. Okay. Um... Yeah, there we go, the key 49 ain't looking good. As you can see, we have the 30 facilities here, so that's actually going to um, produce the points that we want now. And if we have the engines in surplus, it'll start going towards bringing that uh, day closer. It's not far away, so it'll not arrive that much. Well, it'll arrive, oh, it'll arrive when it arrives. Earlier. But it's not a um, humongous change. But sizable, I suppose. Scene freeze. Couple more twos. Yeah, we are getting more twos and freeze. Be nice to have like another four. No progress, uh, progress here yet. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so. Uh, quite determined, I imagine, really. Not a problem, just, I don't know, just kind of, <laughs> kind of wanted to blow some stuff up. But I don't know. Do I order a bombardment here? Probably not worthwhile. I might as well attack when I'm actually ready to attack. I could, of course, do with um, bomb the airfields. Yeah, I think I might wait until we have three divisions there before we do attack. Don't have to do that, but I think it might be the preferable way to go, just to make sure we don't take that much away of losses. Um, and in all honesty, we do want to have, a, well, we want to have Rangoon actually cut off and surrounded before we go for it. So got that Hex now moving in there. Technically we own this Hex now. He'll probably be in there shortly. Okay, and I'm tired. I'm going to call it there. So thank you very much for watching there, ladies and gentlemen. It sounds really low energy. Probably is. I'm quite tired. It's quarter to one in the morning. I shall go get some sleep. Uh, he also doesn't know uh, you have anything other than a tie division there, does he? Ah, that's a good question. I don't think so. I'm honestly not too sure. Honestly not too sure. He might be able to put two and two together if he sees like, something like guns or something like that. Maybe numbers, but I'm not sure. That's something to bear in mind then, I suppose. They've finally arrived in here, which is good, so I have them in combat mode. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. So thank you very much there for watching, ladies and gentlemen. It's been great to have you. Look at that. 20 of you. Wow, that's impressive. I hope you guys have a great... Uh, I, don't, I imagine it's probably getting closer towards the evening for the rest of you out there. So have a great one. I hope you had a great day. And I will see you today, apparently. <laughs> I have something to say. And uh, say another. See you later then, guys. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Subscribe and follow here on Twitch if you're new. Very much appreciated. See you next time. Have a good one.